Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. I'm back on the Edison Home Assembly now, and what I'm going to talk about is the end gate that fits here, this piece. So, you know we've refinished everything and striped and painted and everything, but what you have to do on the end gate is you have to polish this piece out here. You can just use like 600 grit sandpaper if you want to. You want to make this smooth, that part. You want to make this part of the gate where that pin is, which fits in this hole. And then you want to polish out the tops and the bottom. And there's a reason for that. Because the gate comes on, sits in, and then it closes. And then this little pin hits there, like that. Now, you have two tension springs on the gate back here. And I will show you quickly. So you have this one that looks flat because this one was on top. See how cruddy that looks? But the better looking one, because it's never seen any age, is on the bottom of the gate underneath here, under the pivot part of the gate. There's two. What part's flat? This one's, this one's flattened out. Let's see if I can tilt a little. You see how, you see how one bulges up? And one is flat? Yeah. Okay, what do we do if we have a flat spring that goes on top of the gate? You take a pair of needle nose pliers and you just take this, hold here, and then you bend over a little and you keep bending the same distance. Do you get it to bend? You gotta see how this one's not fitting flat right there. There. And you see how that's bulgy? This is an original. So what you're gonna do is, because we're doing a restoration, or if you're working on yours and you go, you know, my little spring on top looks cruddy. Well, you can just flip them around. You can put the old one, this one, on the bottom here and the nicer looking one on top. And I always do that when I work on someone's home or something that has these, because that looks very nice. So you're gonna stick this in here. And I've pre-oiled the screw. And you're just gonna screw that down has that been blued? Oh yeah, all this has been blued. There we go, nice and tight. Here we go, nice gate. Now, now you put the bottom one on. I'll put the bottom one on after I'm done here. Now we will put in the lock to the gate. And I've pre-oiled that screw too because they always get cruddy. And you're gonna screw this screw in and it, it bottoms out. I'll show you in just a minute. This is a special screw because it has a spring on it. And then it screws down and it hits right in here. That's a bottoming part. So it goes in so far, puts tension on the spring, and you're good to go. There are no worries about assembling this. And the spring is the tension for the, the lock on the gate. Usually when you take these apart, that screw's full of crud, and then it has a little tension. Now it comes in and locks. And that's all there is to rebuild the end gate. You can see we've blued everything. And then off camera, I'll put this one on the bottom because nobody ever sees that. You know, this hobby's a lot of fun, and I like pointing these things out for you, and that's my tip for the day.